The founder of the Progressive Democrats, Des O'Malley, has died. He was 82, a former justice minister and a prominent Fianna Fáil TD during the 1970s and 80s. He broke away and successfully formed his own party, the PDs. Paying tribute, Taoiseach Micheál Martin said Mr O'Malley's life was one of courage and consequence. In a moment, we'll be getting reaction live from Leinster House. But first, Conor McMorrow looks back on the life of a politician who many believe broke the mould of Irish politics. Des O'Malley, Hello. the man who led the way in countering the old status quo in Irish politics. Truly the mould of Irish politics has been broken. Mm -hmm. The young solicitor entered public life in the 1968 by-election to fill his late uncle Don O'Malley's Fianna Fáil seat in Limerick East. As Minister for Education, Don O'Malley had introduced free secondary schooling. He was no easy act to follow and the new TD was immediately nicknamed the Man from Uncle. What kind of questions do you get in at the doorways, Mr O'Malley? Well, I find there are no questions at most of the doorways. They wish me good luck and assure me their support. But the questions that I, I do find most common here are questions relating to housing. In 1970, 31-year-old Des O'Malley was appointed Minister for Justice under Taoiseach Jack Lynch, for whom he had served as Parliamentary Secretary and Government Chief Whip in his first two years as a TD. As Minister for Justice, he took a tough line with the IRA, establishing the Special Criminal Court and introducing the Offences Against the State Act. I received threats from the provisional IRA particularly. Uh, I uh, was told by the guards that I couldn't stay in the same place in Dublin for more than a week, so I used to have to move around all the time. His no-nonsense style carried through to other portfolios, principally that of industry and commerce. During the 1973 general election, Jack Lynch predicted that Des O'Malley would lead Fianna Fáil. He didn't, but he formed an intense rivalry with the man who would. It's a there were times, I suppose, when you began to think that the relationship of some of the deputies towards Mr Hoy was like that of cult members to the cult leader. Um, uh, even when objective evidence uh, suggested that the leader of the cult was on shaky ground and was acting in a dubious fashion. He broke ranks with Fianna Fáil in 1985 when he clashed with Mr Hawhey over the repeal of the ban on contraceptives for the unmarried. There is a choice of a kind that can only be answered by saying that I stand by the Republic and accordingly I will not oppose this bill. The Fianna Fáil National Executive expelled him for what was deemed conduct unbecoming. I Give hope that's not lady. conduct unbecoming now. <laughs> In December 1985, he founded the Progressive Democrats. It marked a move away from civil war politics along the way of a liberal, pro-business and secular route. The PDs had undoubted appeal under O'Malley and in their first election in 1987 they won 14 Dáil seats. Two years later the most unlikely of coalitions was formed when it became clear that Charlie Hoy needed Des O'Malley to form a government. However, when Albert Reynolds replaced Mr Hoy as Taoiseach in 1992, relations were strained when Reynolds accused O'Malley of being dishonest during the Beef Tribunal. The PDs pulled out of government and in 1993 Des O'Malley retired as party leader. He was beaten to the last seat in Dublin in the 1994 European elections by former colleague Pat Cox. But the man from UNCLE, who would stand by the Republic, looked back on public life with few regrets. I'm happy, looking back, uh, that uh, I did my best for a third of a century. Um, and uh, even if that entails trotting on a fair number of toes and um, following a, a fairly lone path at times, uh, so be it. That's what I felt I was called to do.